This video is going to show you how to use if-else statements with Pythagorean theorem. What is an if-else statement and why is it used? An if-else statement is a way to dictate how your computer will make decisions. If-else statements are used to give the computer directions to follow when faced with a choice between two or more options. How do we structure if-else statements? The first part of our structure um, begins with an if and the first condition. Underneath your first condition, you're going to write the actions that must be performed if that statement is true. You can then have a second or third or fourth condition that will be different from your first, and those actions will be performed only if that condition is true instead. Your last statement is going to just be an else without a condition because you're saying that this is the part of the code that should run whenever all the other conditions are false. It's important to note that you can have as many conditions as you want. You might only have two, and in that case, you would not have the middle else if condition. Now, how do we structure these in JavaScript? In order to write the first portion of our code, we're going to write an if expression. So you're going to need your curly braces around your actions that you want to be performed. The second portion of your code is going to be written very similarly. Just make sure you realize that the else and the if are both lowercase. And the end of your code is going to just have your else without any condition next to it. So let's go through some examples. Our first example is going to take user inputs of width and height of a triangle, and the code will calculate the hypotenuse and print a message to tell the user if the hypotenuse of that triangle is less than 5 or greater than or equal to 5. Let's look at how we can write this code. Our first two variables will be introduced, width and height, which are being taken from the inputs that the user is given. Now we need to know how we can take those width and height values and calculate the hypotenuse of our triangle. We know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the width and height, and c is the hypotenuse. If we square root both sides of the equation, you'll see on the right, the hypotenuse squared and the square root will cancel out. So our equation to get the hypotenuse from the width and height is square root of the width squared plus the height squared. We can write that expression in our code by using math.square root and squaring the width and adding that to the square of the height. We're saving that as a new variable hypotenuse. Now we want to use our if-else statements. If that hypotenuse value is greater than or equal to 5, we want to print the statement that the hypotenuse is greater than or equal to 5. We only have one other option, so we're going to use an else statement to say that the hypotenuse is less than 5 in that case. Now let's look at a real world example. What if I had a new bookshelf and I needed to figure out how I could fit my TV into that square in the middle if the square is only 40 inches wide. I want to know how large my TV can be in order to fit into that square. So we know that we, when we buy a TV, they usually give you the um, dimension of the diagonal. If we also are given the height dimension, we're able to get the width. So even though our TV is a square, we can use Pythagorean theorem to determine the width of that TV depending on the diagonal and height measurements. So if our area is 40 inches, we want to write a code to see if a, the TV will fit in that area. We have the function that we're going to start with and we're going to take the diagonal and height values from the user as we did before. Now, instead of solving for the hypotenuse here, we want to solve for the width. 
So we're going to subtract the height from both sides and do the same thing that we did before where we square root both sides. So the width is the square root of the hypotenuse squared minus the height squared. That is going to be our math equation to find the width from the diagonal and height. Then we're going to say if our width is greater than or equal to 40, we're not going to be able to fit our TV in the bookshelves. Otherwise, the TV will fit between the bookshelves. So good luck with your next examples.